The first question comes in from uh, Kim. Ki <laughs> I'm going to be awful at names as well, straight off the bat. That's terrible. Kimmy Arash. Kimmy Arash. Kimmy Arash on Instagram. Terribly sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, have you participated in a design competition like Red Dot or the IF Award? If not, why? Um, and I don't know if that question is for um, me particularly as an individual designer or for companies that I've worked for and worked at. Um, so I guess I can kind of answer that in two ways. Uh, number one is the companies that I've worked for and worked at, uh, they participate and they they get awards and, and they, you know, submit and, uh, and and end up with amazing awards that they can uh, post about and advertise. Um, but me, myself, as my own designer with the work that I've released, you know, with, with Gantry in my own name, like the lighting designs, uh, I haven't um, submitted those for design awards. And the reason is... Number one is they are very expensive um, to, 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 to get a design award, particularly like you've mentioned, the Red Dot and the IF Award. They are extremely expensive to both enter and also extremely expensive to claim the award. So the way that it works is you, you pay to enter and then the judges judge you. <laughs> the judges judge your, um, your designs. And then if you win anything, you have to pay an uh, an awards pack fee, so that is to get the award, get the logo sent to you, get you know the the, the PDFs of you know certificates and, and the actual awards themselves, and they cost they cost a lot of money, uh, which is normally why you'll see studios mainly uh, getting them, and even the studios, like you know, currently I work at, at Layer and previously uh, Recipe Design. The studios will even uh, always try and get the clients, as in the actual companies themselves that are making the products, to pay the fees because it just gets so expensive. And if it's really expensive for consultancy companies to, to get these awards, you can kind of see how expensive it actually is for an individual like me um, to, to, to get those awards like that as well. So I haven't um, because they're expensive and also... The fact that they are paid to enter, and if you pay money to enter and you pay money to accept the award, the, the award companies are more inclined to give out more awards because then they get more money. Uh, it's all, it all doesn't sit quite right with me as a pay to win strategy. Um, and since learning about, you know, the, the way that the, the costings work and the way that you know, you have to even pay more money to accept the prize. And then if you want the trophy, you have to pay even more money still on top of that. Uh, it, it takes away the magic of, of, of design awards for me and, and sort of, you know, only the richest designers will win, uh, which doesn't quite sit right with me. So I, you know, I haven't looked into it so much because of that. However, having said that, I wouldn't say no to a Red Dot Award and I wouldn't say no to a, an IF Award. Um, but it's not something that I can personally pay for. And um, I mean, for me, I think that all designers kind of know that these awards are a little bit fake and a little bit, uh, you know, pay to enter, pay to win type thing. But the general public, um, if, if they walk into a shop and see one package for, you know, headphones or whatever, whatever they're buying, whatever product they're buying, if the headphones have an IF Award logo on the front saying IF Award 2021 winner and the, the headphones on the other side don't have that award, maybe it can sway them into buying those, those things. So I, th I, I do definitely think that an award logo is not uh, a badge of honor for the designer necessarily, but more a marketing tool to sell more to the people who don't know that they just essentially bought that logo. Um, so I'm sure it's great to sell more things, um, uh, especially, you know, these logos that you, you see plastered on the front of products, you know, the DOT and the IF award are both bright red, you know, award 2021, and you can have two or three in a row, you know, best award 2017, best award 2018, 2019, and just, 
you know, add up. Um, and I can 100% see why um, customers are going to, to, to gravitate towards that, but it's not necessarily something that I need as a designer to say that my designs are, are good. It's it's a hundred percent, in my opinion, um, just for the customers who don't know anything about design awards. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question about if I had, uh, if I'd entered design awards, and if not, why? I think that that hopefully sums it up. Um, like I said, if I was offered a red dot award or or an IF award, I'd absolutely take it. But uh, it's not something that I'm really driven to pay hundreds and, and, and thousands of pounds for. Thank you so much for all of your questions. I really enjoyed that live stream and I will be posting all of the other individual questions to my YouTube channel as well. So don't forget to let me know down in the comments if you learned anything because I love to read about it. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.